Hey, hello guys, uh, Marvin Williams here. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you uh, how to use uh, the Facebook group um, auto poster software. Um, what you're going to need to do first is you need to have an account set up on um, post daily ads. Uh, if you look in the file um, that's inside this um, the, the inside the file that you downloaded the zip folder um, there is a uh, step-by-step instructions on what you need to do just go to that link uh, sign up for a free account over at post um, at, uh, daily ads um, once you have your account you want to write down your username and your password you can sign up for a free account over there uh, you don't have to upgrade you're just going to need the username and the password uh, to add into the uh, software into the fields uh, right up here where it says um, account uh, well where it says login details you're gonna uh, have to um, click on this and then you're gonna have to put in um, your username and your password for post uh, daily ads and then you're gonna have to log into your Facebook account um, well not log in you're gonna need to have the your username um, for Facebook and if you don't know what your username is uh, for Facebook you can just go to facebook.com and click on your profile um, any link on your profile and it's gonna take you to your home page okay when once you get to your home page you're gonna see a username all the way up to the top over here that looks like this okay that's gonna be your username now you're also gonna need your email that you also have for the account that you're gonna be logging into um, you're gonna need that and you're also gonna need to have the password so you need you're gonna have to you're gonna have to have five things in order to get the software to run correctly first you're gonna need your username and your password for post uh, daily ads and then you're gonna need um, your username for Facebook your Facebook email address and then your Facebook um, password and you're gonna put those into the software um, from right uh, up here where it says tools um, you're gonna click on that and then add in uh, your your information your details for the software to, to work correctly once you finish doing that okay you're gonna need to have your ads um, also your group okay um, what what you're gonna start with first is you don't need to get uh, click on this right here where it says get groups okay what you're gonna need to do is click on right here where it says choose file okay and you're gonna go to where um, I already have a sample list of groups in there for you now you're not gonna be able to post into any of those groups guys unless you are a member already in those groups if you're not a member you're not gonna be able to post ads into those groups so what you need to do is open up this file and go to each one of those link and ex um, click on it to become a member okay um, you need to do that in order to, to to post into those groups so if you're not a member of those groups you're not going to be able to post into them okay so just make sure you do that first um, before you start running the software you have to get as many groups as possible that you are a member of okay once you finish doing that uh, the next step is you're gonna have to select uh, how many seconds you want this to wait in between posting um, they recommend uh, 120 seconds which is like uh, two minutes it has to wait two minutes or you can, um, you know, if you want it to go a little bit faster, um, you can um, do that. But you don't want it to go too fast because the lower this number is, the faster the software posts. And you don't want your account to get banned or, you know, Facebook, uh, you know, put a restriction on your account for, you know, 15 days, 20 days or 30 days. Um, so just, you know, keep that in mind. The next thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to need to have um, the ads that you're going to be uh, using. Now you can either use one ad or you can use several ads. And I'm going to show you how to do that um, to make the software automatically spin your ads uh, when it goes out. So it would grab one of the ads that you already created and it would keep spinning them. Um, so if, say, let's say for instance you, you already have um, you know, six or seven or ten ads that you want to use. Now the only thing is you could only use one ad uh, well you could only use one campaign uh, for the same link because it doesn't if you put in different ads in there with different links the, the ads is not going to spin to the same link all the time I mean unless you create an all general uh, generalized ads that doesn't matter uh, you know which link it goes to then now you can use different type of uh, advertising 
where it would spin and go to all of those different links or different ad uh, uh, copy that you have. Now, if you're good at you know copy ad writing, then you can do something like that and you know have it spin going, uh, you know writing generalized uh, uh, text ads where it doesn't matter what link it is, um, it's generalized to any business opportunity or anything that you're doing, and it would spin to those other links. Now, you could do something like that, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that right now. Okay, so what you're going to need, now what you're going to need to do is open up a Notepad. Okay, I'm going to open up my Notepad over here. Um, these are my, um, I already have them set right here and I'm going to show you how to do this uh, real quick. Now what you're going to need to do is once you have all of your ads, okay, you're going to need to start it with a um, bracket like this right here, okay. And to get a bracket like that you just press down on control and then right next to the P um, you press down on, that, uh, on, on, on that, um, that key on your keyboard, okay. So you're going to start it out like this and what I recommend doing is wrapping it first before you do it, okay? So then you're going to come at the end of each one of these ads, see the, this, each one of these is a line of ad that, that I have, okay? Let me see if I can spread this out a little bit so you can see. So these are all the ads here that I'm going to be using. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 ads that I'm going to be using with these links to the bottom here. Now these links they all go to the same page. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is the first one that you put in, as you see right here, this is the first ad. So what I'm gonna go go is to the end of this ad right here and I'm gonna put a straight line. Okay. And to do that you press down on the shift and then the key right next to where these wiggly lines is, you're gonna press down on that and it gives you a straight line. And then next you're gonna come behind that and you're gonna hit click on the delete button. Okay and it's going to automatically bring the next ad up behind that okay and then you're going to go to the end of this one and you're going to hit you're going to do the same thing again shift and then the straight line okay and then you do delete one more time and this is my ad that stops right here okay so I'm going to go to the end of this ad and press do the same thing again shift and then press down with a straight key okay and then I'm going to delete and then now it's gonna. I'm gonna go to the end of the other ad and do the same thing. Uh, shift and then the straight line, and then delete one more time. And this is gonna bring up my next ad over here. Okay. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So this is separating my ads for the software to spin them. Okay. So I'm gonna come back um, all the way over here, and this is my next ad. So I press down on, on the shift, and then um, do the straight line again, and then I'm hit delete. And then it brings it up um, next to this one over here. So, in reality, guys, if, if if I did not wrap this, this would be one straight line. Okay. So this is the reason why you want to have it wrap first, um, so it reaches the end of the um, of the notepad over here, and then it wraps it back around. So you don't have to be going in all in one straight line. So I'm going to hit delete again, and this is going to bring my ad up over here. That's just one more ad, the, um, and I'm going to press the straight line. Okay which is on the shift key and then the other key that next to the um, to the brackets. So I'm going to um, click delete one more time and then bring that other ad up. Okay. And then do the same thing again. And you just keep repeating the process until you have all of your ads um, that you want to be using. So I hit delete one, uh, one more time here and that brings up all of my ads right there. Now once you finish uh, having all of your ads in a straight line, what you're going to do is put the close uh, bracket in there. And then what you want to do now is unwrap it, okay? And then now you want to copy all of this right here. Starting from the first uh, bra open bracket, and then go all the way to the close bracket, and then you want to copy this. And then you go into your software, and you're going to paste all of it in there just like that, okay? Now, the same thing applies for your, your links, okay? You're going to do the same thing for your links. You're going to put them in a bracket, open bracket, and then come at the end of the link and press a, a straight line, delete, come at the end of the other link, do the same thing, a straight line, delete, come to the end of the link, a straight line, delete, and then once you reach the end of the, all of your URLs, then you're going to put it in a closed bracket, and then you're going to copy this, okay, and then you're going to place that inside the URL section here, you just paste that in there. And then now all you have to do is just click up here where it says run. 
and this is going to automatically log into your Facebook account and start posting uh, to all of your Facebook groups. Okay. Do you want to zoom past your competition with unlimited amount? Okay, so just wait for this to load. And then once this finished loading, um, that's going to be it for this tutorial, guys. And then if you have any questions, as you can see right here, this just load 297 groups for me. And now what it's going to do is it's going to go to my Facebook group and it's going to, I mean, to my Facebook account, and then it's going to log in. Okay. And just wait for that a minute and show you guys uh, how this is going to start spinning. Um, all of your your ads and all of your links all at the same time see right here is logging into my Facebook account And this is why you need the username and the password so it can log into your account. Okay Okay, so now as you can see it just logged into my account and then now it's gonna click on on for my groups Okay, it's gonna open up all of my group links And then it's going to go to one of the uh, to the URLs uh, for the groups that's on my page, okay. And it's going to do the same thing for your groups, guys. You see it? This is the first group that it's going to go to. And now what it's going to do is it's going to grab one of those headlines from out of the out of there that, well, not headlines, but it's gra it's going to grab one of the ads. As you can see right now, it just grabbed one of the ads, okay. So now, as you can see, it just automatically posts one of the URLs in there automatically. You see that? It just posted one of the URLs. So let me go back over here really quick and show you. You see right here? These are the URLs, and it automatically grabs one of them. It doesn't matter which order it's in. It's just going to randomly select one of, the, one of those. Now, when it gets to this stage, you have to manually enter in um, this capture code right here. Okay? And I mean, this is one of the only drawbacks uh, to this uh, software. Um, other than that, it's a great software. So that's the end of this uh, tutorial. Um, it is very simple. If you have any questions or need any help, uh, please feel free to give um, to contact me. Uh, Marvin Williams here, signing out.